Welcome back to The Phoenix Project. This week we're continuing on with our van conversion in preparation for our big move to Bulgaria in a few weeks time. We're cracking on with getting our kitchen, plumbing, electricity and lighting <laughs> sorted so that the van is fully kitted out for us to travel through Europe to reach our new home in Bulgaria. A massive. Follow us on our journey on the road to Bulgaria. We've got some really, really exciting news to share with you all. So it's been two weeks since our last YouTube video and let me tell you, a lot has happened in that time. We've got some really, really exciting news to share with you all. But first, let's take a look at where we're at with the van and how much work needs to be done before we can start moving. Oh, thank you, sis. You're welcome. kitchen finished i've got the base made up but not in place and the top isn't hasn't been cut or placed on yet right nova i know you're a star but can you move out the way so we can see mummy just come to the side I know that it sounds mad because normally when I'm doing things, I say this, these things to myself. Yay! But when I'm saying them to you, it sounds weird. I'm not going. Okay. So we're both going a little bit full Britney today and I'm going to shave off um, the sides of my hair because um, I don't like the way it's growing out um, and I just want it to look a little bit more edgy so uh, I've just tied up the top part. I'm kind of following, <laughs> I've watched Brad Mondo YouTube videos a bit and I'm just relying on the power of YouTube to try and help me get through this. So. Um, what is life if you can't just cut your hair but by yourself occasionally? start off like no normal day and we're actually going to go to a fire station to go and see the fire people um 
So we're going to do that first and then get on with whatever else we've got going. She thinks she's going to see fireman sandwiches again. the morning at the fire station which is really nice and now we're going to do um oh no you dropped your oh she's taking your strawberry um now we're just going to do some work on the okay it's okay don't have a meltdown <sighs> doing this with kids is not for the faint-hearted we're now going to do um some of the painting and the flooring because uh, that needs to get sorted what are we doing right now law Tap dancing, what does that look like I'm doing? <laughs> I thought we already painted the van. Yeah, but we don't like it. So, <laughs> you know, this is what you do, isn't it? It's funny, I watched a video of someone and they painted twice and I was like, what an idiot. <laughs> and now I'm that person. gonna get weighed and see how much the van weighs. Um, I did you have it weighed before we put all the stuff in or not? Uh, so I did but I didn't ask him what it was. It got weighed but I just never asked. Yeah so was... we didn't know what its weight was before but we're gonna find out how much it weighs with the bed and everything and it shouldn't be too much more to be fair because it's not exactly like we've put loads of stuff in the van. There's no storage or anything yet but um, yeah we're just waiting now to get it weighed and see how heavy she is. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why it starts at, let's just say two two tons. It can be three and a half. Let's yeah. just say it's two. Yeah. Okay. You alright, mate? Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's an eye back off. Yeah. No worries. So you want me to go across the front, don't go round to the left. Yeah. Oh, no worries. that we can't take things from the tip because there's loads and loads of like wood and cupboards and it's just annoying that you can't I think you can maybe ask but as far as I'm aware you can't just take stuff from the tip um, which is a shame for the environment <laughs> yeah, yeah, by accident. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it stinks, doesn't it? Yeah, alright. Uh, you'll have to shut that from. Yeah. So we ditch all the stuff now, we're just going to go sit on the wave plate and see whoa, whoa, whoa. See how much we weigh. There was so low tear coming from her oh, face. Oh no, we were going to get out and have a walk in a minute. 
I know this is rubbish for you two. Rubbish, get it? That was terrifying. There was a giant like... I know. What, what was that? What do you call it? Like a digger or something? Or... Yeah. I don't know. Some sort of big vehicle scooping up rubbish and chucking it right next to us. Crazy. What is that? 2840. Brilliant, thank you mate. So the van, <laughs> yeah, so the van currently weighs 2.8 tonnes, so she's a big girl. And uh, at least we now know if we're going to add anything else in, it's going to yeah, be sort like of... soda panels. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's... I think it's good, because when Luke got his weight, he weighed three and a half and he hadn't, he hadn't finished yet. No, no, so we've got, we've got weight to play with. News that we've been waiting for is that we finally got an offer on the house. <laughs> that was drums. That was drums. Oh, we got an offer. Somebody's offered, so we've accepted the offer, which now means that we've sold the house. So we're just waiting for everything to go through, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be on our way in maybe six or seven weeks. Just need to add, we were this close to like giving up yeah. and being like, let's just sell it to one of those those people that they no. take advantage and they offer you like 30, yeah, 30 percent less than market value is ridiculous. Yeah, they were gonna offer us like twenty thousand pounds less yeah. for our house. But we were so fed up we just wanted to get rid of the house. So we're so grateful for the house being sold and yeah, it we had some good them. advice and went from Yes, thanks to Anthony's mum and, and our guru Auntie Rachel. So you, you guys and we're just so excited we're getting the van ready we're getting the house emptied we're on our minimalist journey we're now thinking about maybe getting rid of our phones because we don't want them anymore and so that's a whole other chapter of our life that we're entering into it's really exciting and we can't wait for the next part so we'll see you in the next chapter see you soon